Sanan quite see, skimming the spray of the wave crests, their essence manifesting itself as a swirling eddy underneath the water surface, or as a gust of wind and spray, ever changing and ever different, yet always moving at the boundary where water and wind met under a night of eternally glittering stars. Icy winds eternally blow through a labyrinth of deep cracks, ice falls and frozen lakes. From the glacier fields, many large and small meltwater rivers make their way down towards the lowlands, crashing down in thundering cascades and waterfalls. The most mysterious of them is Ariadne, the birthplace of the rainbow. There the waters cascade down from the ice fields till they reach a steep fall over more than half a mile down into a narrow gorge. Almost immediately she realized why no one before had been able to read the hieroglyphs. Everyone had assumed they represented sounds or ideas, but they did not. Instead, they were symbols of a language that was based on different principles, built like a river delta, in which the signs represented different ways in which ideas could flow from one to the other.